With people living longer than ever before, many retirees will spend more time out of work than in their entire careers. Greetings, apreneurs. Welcome to the Entrepreneur Secrets Podcast, the show that uncovers the secrets to win with books beyond book sales and dominate entrepreneurship. Through exclusive author interviews, stories, and must-have resources, you will discover some of the secrets and strategies to thrive with books and generate lasting income. I invite you to become an entrepreneur ambassador and join me in my mission to raise up 10,000 Caribbean entrepreneurs by 2030. Spread the word about the podcast and encourage more people to increase their impact and income with books beyond book sales. Without further ado, let's get into the show. Greetings, Apreneurs. Welcome to episode 142 of the Entrepreneur Secrets podcast. I'm your host, C. Ruth Taylor, and we're continuing our series on writing and retirement as I introduce my latest entrepreneurship venture, which is a course built around the book, Write and Retire Write, Secrets to Write Nonfiction Fast and Create Sustainable Income for Retirement. In preparing for this episode, I read an article on Academy to Innovate HR, that is AI HR, and it talked about society and economy because I was doing some research on some of the challenges of aging. And one of the challenges it mentioned is that the exclusion of skilled older people from the workforce is not only detrimental to the economy, but also a pressing issue that demands attention. But this is the next thing that got my attention. It said, with people living longer than ever before, many retirees will spend more time out of work than in their entire careers. And that poses significant challenges, particularly from a pension perspective. Wow. So if you live long enough, because tomorrow is not promised to anyone, right? If you live long enough, it is likely that you're going to spend more time out of the active workforce because people are living longer with Japan having the oldest population. So people are living longer in Japan and uh, by about 2050, you're going to find that more and more countries are having an older population. And with that comes many challenges because of some of the issues of aging in terms of health challenges, but also it can be a strain financially. And uh, the concern is that people are not saving enough for retirement or they won't have enough money and some concerns are, even with the pension plans, will there be enough to pay out? So what this course does is that it is part of the solution in that with writing, it will give retirees something to do work. Because <laughs> I can tell you, just the act of writing, it can take months, it can take days, it can take weeks. And when that book is published, people want you to do something. They want you to come and talk. They want to listen to you. It gives you a voice and a platform. So that will give the retirees meaningful activity. And all that wisdom that you've gained over the years it is only good and proper <laughs> that you document it. Coming from a biblical perspective, Moses documented his journey and lesson so that when he was about to die at age 120, he was able to pass on this book to his successor, Joshua, and say, read it, study it, so that you will be successful in your endeavors. And that's one of the reasons I'm encouraging older people to write. Don't let the wisdom die with you. <laughs> you know, help the next generation to thrive because 
they are zealous, but they're often inexperienced. And so you have skills that they haven't gained yet. And the younger ones have skills that you may not know, but your experience and your wisdom and your guidance can help the next generation to thrive. Because in a sense, and apart from technology and that kind of thing, life issues and issues of governance many times are not new. And you would have gained a wealth of experience that if you document it, it can help not just the next generation, but generations to thrive and leave a legacy. And then the younger generation and others can now help you to sell that book. And quite a number of the authors that we work with in Bamboo Sparks, they are senior citizens. They are retirees or they're over 50, over 60, and they're doing exactly that. And I'm excited about it. And so if you are familiar with my publishing series, this book contains some of the repeated things, but it's contextualized for retirees. So it begins with how to write a book fast. So if you've read The Rocket Writer, this has similar things. If you've read Entrepreneur Secrets, it has similar things. Then the second part has to do with publishing cost effectively and it goes into some other things in terms of best earning versus best selling and then it discusses the whole issue of retirement with books which is unique to this book because it's tailored for that purpose and so the course now has the audio book which are like tutorials not narrated by me teaching you the whole process and today you're going to hear an excerpt from chapter four, which is titled Retiring Rights. So I want to encourage you to take the course. It starts March 25. It opens then. It is self-paced. So you can go at your own pace. It's online. And once you've completed all the activities, book a session with me so that we can discuss your plan and I can give you some guidance to move from idea to done as quickly as possible so that you can have a fruitful, financially viable, and happy, joyful retirement with books. So this is a short episode. This is my latest entrepreneurship venture. And so I'm using it to promote the course, but also to drive home that is important for older citizens to write to equip the next generation to thrive. So listen to this excerpt and let me know if it has inspired you. Chapter 4.0, Retiring Right. You amaze me, I remarked. How old are you again? I'm 91 years old, she replied. I was stunned at her age. Not only was she driving a standard motor vehicle, but she could still run and change a tire. Mrs. Harley was a retired lecturer, social worker, and entrepreneur who was living the retirement dream. She was still doing fruitful and fulfilling work at age 91. She was standing and walking tall. Mrs. Harley had no significant ailments apart from hypertension, which she only developed recently. She was an active member of the Citizens Association in her neighborhood, and she volunteered regularly with the Salvation Army. She could still do her gardening and maintain a nice property. She also had built a one-bedroom flat on her property for rental income. As I approached my 40th birthday, I could not help but admire Mrs. Harley. She was the perfect model of how to retire right. Retiring right means to position yourself to be fruitful and financially stable after age 65, doing work you love if you so desire. It means having regular income similar to your pre-retirement years without working a full-time job if that's your choice. 
When I discussed with Mrs. Harley my fears of reaching age 40 before owning my home, she reminded me that 40 was just a number and that many of the homeowners in her neighborhood were originally civil servants who did not get their homes until later in life. Therefore, I had nothing to worry about as long as I had a plan. Now, after years of dreading the age of 40, I am looking forward to it. In fact, Napoleon Hill, author of the book Think and Grow Rich, and his study of over 500 millionaires reveal that most of them became so around age 49 or 50. Ramsey Solutions did a similar study of 10,000 everyday millionaires in America and saw similar findings. Ages 40 to 60 are our most productive years, and if we have good health like Mrs. Harley, our productivity can continue well after age 80. Let me ask you three critical questions as you read this book. Question number one. If you lost your job today, could you survive for three or four months comfortably? Question number two. Have you started making plans for retirement? And question number three. What is your retirement dream? My dream is to write and retire right by combining artless strategy with authorpreneurship. Already, I have created 12 income streams from my books and have replaced my part-time salary. I am now seeking to automate my income streams so that like a fruit tree, income will come in season after season, especially in my later years. In the book, Write and Grow Rich, several successful authors share their stories of using their writing skills to find financial freedom. I recommend you read it for inspiration and ideas. Note, none of these authors did it overnight. I believe if I start now at age 39, and if God spares my life, I can leverage the secret powers of a book and retire right. With retirement at age 65 in most workplaces, you are forced to stop working, and sadly, many retirees are unprepared for life after retirement. But what if you could replace your primary income stream before age 65? What if you could create multiple streams of income before then? Society has conditioned most of us to depend primarily on one income stream called a job, and as such, if there is a job loss or an extended period with a job as in retirement, we become worried. Our primary source of income is wiped out, and we often struggle to survive. Chris Hogan, author of Retire Inspired, reminds us that retirement is not an age, but a number. Hogan is correct. A key part of this number is ensuring you have streams of income in retirement that require little time or effort on your part. If you have an adequate monthly income, similar to your pre-retirement years, then retirement should not be a problem. Retirement is not about reaching age 60 or 65 and losing your primary income source. It is about having enough money to live on by either saving enough, as persons do throughout pension schemes and investments, or creating another income stream to replace the primary one lost at age 65. Nonfiction books can help you create multiple streams of income if you look beyond mere book sales. If you practice good financial management and eliminate debt early, then retirement or a job loss does not have to be feared. The research shows that over 70% of people could not survive two months if they lost their job. It is important to save and prepare for job loss so that our lifestyle does not diminish significantly if you retire or lost your primary income source. Savings versus Income Streams I have a friend who works online as a virtual assistant and digital marketer. She knows the online job market is volatile 
and she manages the volatility by putting aside 40% of her income each month. Of course, you may not be able to do this. She can save this large percentage because she has no children and still lives at home with her parents. Towards the end of 2018, my friend lost her job and was without work for four months. But during this job loss, she was still eating shrimps because she had enough cash stashed away. What she did is what most financial advisors recommend for pre-retirees. Put aside cash to live on for your retirement years. But what if you have not done so? Can you still retire right? I believe my case study would be applicable in this regard. In 2018, when I resigned from my part-time job, I did not have as much money saved as my friend. I survived the loss of that major income stream because of my books. I learned to leverage my books to create multiple income streams, and my lifestyle has not diminished since that time. Yes, there have been crazy moments on this journey. For example, when I could not pay my credit card bill because of debt I accumulated earlier on my publishing journey, or times when I am late in paying rent. But those situations still occur with people who have a job with predictable salary. It's an issue of management. My point is, if you learn the secrets of winning with nonfiction books and start early, you will have an income source in retirement that could match 10 to 100% of your pre-retirement income. If you start early like I have, you can achieve financial independence or stability during retirement and still do fulfilling work. This is something I want persons over 35 to be mindful of. In fact, the earlier you start, the better. I met a young man in his 20s who is planning to retire at age 40. It is possible. Let's learn how we can do so in the next chapter. I trust that that excerpt has opened your eyes to what we mean about retiring right and has inspired you to begin to pen your ideas. So I trust that this episode will help you to move from idea to action, from idea to implementation, from idea to done. Sign up for the course. It's just $99. I just want to remind you as we close of making many books, there is no end. So go pen it to win it and dominate author entrepreneurship. Share this episode with a friend. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Subscribe to the podcast on Spotify. Give it a rating. And ta for now until next time.